What's up guys, Miles Somerville here. Today we're going to be doing another round review. And this is the official first build of Synergy Mod 12 for the Nexus 7. And this is Android version Lollipop 5.0.2. So let's get started. So it is finally here, the long awaited and what if I can say this for myself, it took a while to get here. The first official build of Sign Engine Mod 12, Android 5.0.2, uh, just came out yesterday, the 6th of January, and uh, I flashed it immediately, of course, as soon as I heard the news. Got it straight from the Sign Engine Mod server, and I will show you where to get this if you're interested in installing this on your 2013 Nexus 7. So, the first thing I noticed when I booted up my uh, new Signage Mod 12 for the first time is that uh, it didn't give me the Signage Mod installer settings that I got when I would install it on, let's say, Android KitKat. Uh, maybe it's because of the Google Apps package I use, or maybe it's because they just haven't implemented it yet. And there are a couple things I want to talk about that they haven't uh, fixed yet, as this is the first nightly um a couple of other nightlies have released but i haven't installed them yet because i want to review this one first to see how it how it just how they started off signage in mod 12 for the nexus 7. so let's go into our settings here uh it's pretty much mostly the same we have our status bar settings uh brightness control as i've talked about on many other roms uh quick pull down that's nothing new show notification count show the weather battery search status style as, as you can see here i have mine in circle uh show battery percentage inside the icon next to the icon or you can have it hidden as a default uh let's see here now we have our performance settings where we can as you can see here i've maxed out my processor settings uh to a full 1.5 uh gigahertz on performance setting the minimum for me, I'm going to keep it at 1.5 because I want to have maximum performance on my Nexus 7. Let me just turn down the brightness here. So we also have, if I believe, our I.O. Scheduler, scheduler. And I don't really understand what the I.O. Scheduler does fully. But uh, if you, I guess if you want it on the first, on your reboot, then you can select that. There's a toggle for that. Uh, no super user settings in our system settings, unfortunately. Uh, they have yet to implement that. Uh, we have our signage and mod system profiles. Automobile, default, home, night, silent, and work, of course. And we can add a custom one. Uh, we also have um, sound and notification settings. I'm pretty sure most of these are just stock Android 4, 5.0.2 settings. Nothing signage and mod did. But we do have our button settings. Uh, for our navigation bar, we can have uh, has have wake up device. So let's see what that does. Hmm. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong, or maybe I don't fully understand what it does. We have playback control. When the screen is off, long pressing the volume keys will seek music tracks. Uh, that is a setting they have put in previous versions of Android 4.3, 4.2, and 4.4. We have keyboard cursor control, volume up, slash down moves cursor, left slash right, volume up, slash down moves cursor, right slash left. Uh, and we have our reorient to swap buttons when the screen is rotated. That is a useful feature I'm sure some people will use. Uh, when you go into about tablet here, you see you have your signage and mod updates. It tells you your version of signage and mod. It says it's 5.0.2 running uh, the 3.4.0 signage and mod kernel, stock kernel that comes with it. And uh, another problem I came across is that signage and mod updates, uh, it doesn't give me updates. I don't know where they're supposed to be pulling the updates from because when I went on the website, uh, for the signage mod download server, there are about um, three or four new nightlies. But uh, when I check, say check for updates daily, 
I keep refreshing and it says no updates found pretty much every time. So I guess to update it from the first one, you're going to have to go to the Science Your Mod server unless I'm the only one having this problem, which I highly doubt. So uh, we also have this fun little Easter egg here when you tap on Science Your Mod version multiple times. And uh, it takes a couple times to do it. Just like that. And you have your little signage and mod flappy bird thing that they did with Android 5.0.1 or 0. And uh, for some reason it's extremely difficult. I know that I'm probably way better at the, at the original flappy bird than this one. But back to the ROM. So now let's talk about performance. Now, I don't know if this is just for all 5.0.2 ROMs in general, but just like Rastapop, this ROM is extremely fast. I would say even a bit more fluid than Rastapop. Uh, the animations, I noticed this one in particular, the pull-down notifi um, um, notification center. This one, this animation seems to be slightly less, it seems to be at a slightly less slightly higher FPS than Rastapop has been. And uh, we, as you can see here, we have our weather settings that I have toggled right here and uh, I think the performance of this is great definitely good for our first nightly I would consider this ROM stable um, it performs like a stable ROM so far there are no forced closes or um, apps not working at all so far all of my apps that I use on any other ROM that I've installed for Android Lollipop has been working just fine and I have no complaints on that side now, if you want to obtain this ROM the easy way, you can go to signageandmod.com, go to the bottom of the page and select their download section. Look for the device codename Flow, which is the Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi model. This is not a review for the LTE model, just letting you guys know. This is only for the Wi-Fi model of the 2013 Nexus 7. So you just look for the codename Flow on their website and look for the latest nightly or whatever version they have of this ROM. Or I will leave a leave in, link in the description to a XDA thread, which I have made myself for the Signage Mod 12 official nightly builds. Shows you what you're getting into, showing, telling you that your warranty is void. And I will have the review for the ROM in that thread as well. So just letting you guys know, I made the thread. And uh, if you leave any questions, I will answer them as I have for other people. Uh, people have had pretty much zero complaints with the thread so far. And it seems like a lot of people are finally relieved to get an official version of Signage and Mod 12 as we probably should have gotten it before 2015. So guys, that's going to be about it. If you enjoy, please give me a like, rate, comment. If you um, want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment or send me a message or whatever. Um, private message me at XDA. My username is cm 9 afla um, when I first made my account, uh, it's a funny story, I couldn't get Alpha because um, that was the latest version of, of Signage Mod at the time, which is Signage Mod 9, so I decided to name my name CM9 Afla, so A-F-H-L-A. If you have any questions, um, private message me on XDA if you have an account or sign up to get one, and that's going to be about it, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next one.